been here for about three and a half years. We bought a house that was built in 1947. Uh, when we arrived, we had double main windows installed, so we really can't tell you what was caused by the double pane and what was caused by the film. Uh, but we have a house that had a room added, and let's say that the original part was 1,200 square feet, and that was the part that was convenient to do because the new room, the roof was enclosed, you couldn't get to it easily. And when I first came here, well, before I came here, I used to work in insulation. And I knew way back in the 70s that they were trying to do things like put a sheet of aluminum foil on insulation in order to reflect heat. But new, new aluminum foil will uh, reflect the heat back, but old aluminum foil air oxidizes and turns white and when it does it absorbs heat rather than reflects it and so when i came here the first thing that i had to do was to be convinced that it actually will last and from seeing this movie for a presentation we were pretty sure that it was going to work out nicely uh, and it certainly did, but then after a while we noticed that the part of the house that didn't have the sheet in the attic uh, was much more temperature variable. And so we talked to Ed and they came and cut a hole in the old roof so they could get between the old part and the new part and they put their film over that part, and it works just fine. It was definitely worth that difference. Um, another thing that happened, well, two other things. Um, we have a metal garage door, and as soon as the sun would come up over the trees, the temperature in the garage would go up maybe 100 or 200 degrees, and so, I said to the fellow who was, I said, if you have any leftover, would you please give it to me? And he said, sure. And so I taped it onto the inside of the garage door. And that made all the difference in the world uh, as far as heat transferring through the garage door. And the, the thing that happened just recently, we were gone for three days and we came back in the middle of the afternoon and about dinner time, we heard a boom, and the condenser in our air conditioner let go. And we had to wait until the next day before we called. And the fellow didn't come until the next evening, well, about 4.35 o'clock. And the temperature in the house in all of that time went up only two degrees. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Last time I did this, uh, about a month ago, we had this seminar in the lobster room. We had five customers there, and one guy bought his bills, and he was going through them. And so, um, if it didn't work, I'd do something else. I, I, I promise you that. You know, I would be doing something else. So, uh, this is the last thing I'm going to pass these, I'm going to pass some cards out. Everybody's here as a guest, okay? I think when you call, they ask you one question, do you own your home? And, Take the word for that, you know, and uh, my polygraph machine hooked up to the telephone, so you're here and we're glad you're here. And the only thing we ask in return is about 15 minutes every time, you know, and it would be me. I'd come out, look up in the attic, answer all your questions, and give you our recommendations. So I'm going to pass these cards out one, one per house, and uh,